the craziest weapon forger of all time. He used Poseidon's coal iron to create a Poseidon's trident for the king of Atlantis, and the king used the power of Poseidon in the weapon. He conquered the world and formed a kingdom of his own. While other nations still thought the earth was flat, he led Atlantis into a high level of civilization. But just as the country's fortunes were booming, the high command was not satisfied with the status quo. So, driven by ambition, the Atlantean king tried to extract the power of Poseidon from the trident. But the gods were outraged by this act. They sent down punishment and Atlantis sank to the bottom of the sea. But the people evolved in place. Thanks to the trident, some became higher beings with human heads and fish bodies. Others degenerated into ugly monsters of the swamps. And to punish himself, the king of Atlantis, he chose to spend the rest of his life in self-imposed exile. In the darkness a few decades passed, the man accidentally rescues a woman from the sea. The woman sees the submarine launch on TV. Looked it into her mouth, the man saw the scene. The man said, please don't eat my dog, please. Later, through conversation, it turns out that she is the queen of Atlantis. The woman was trying to escape a political marriage, so she came here secretly and that's why she met Tom, the lighthouse repair By mistake, then in his company, they soon fell in love and gave birth to a baby boy named Arthur. The three of them would live happily ever after. But then one night, the king of Atlantis sent his own guards. They had been ordered to arrest the queen. The queen saw this and immediately handed Arthur to Tom. At that moment, Tom threw his trident at his wife. The power of Poseidon was instantly returned to her, but in order to protect her husband and son Atlanta finally decided to return to the bottom of the sea. She would trade her freedom for their safety and promise that when the situation eased, she would come back for them. And so 20 years now Arthur had grown into a muscular man, father and son. They depend on each other, but because of the Atlantean blood in Arthur's veins, so Arthur has been able to communicate with fish since he was a child. So much so that the entire oceanarium is at his back and call. And not only that, Arthur has been able to breathe underwater since he was a child. With his big golden eyes he was able to dispel all the gloom under the water. And so he grows under the tutelage of his mentor Vico. But then an accident happened. Hit by the king of Atlas. And so it was that evening Arthur was driving home with his father. He noticed that the coastline was rising in the distance, and with it countless warships were being washed up on the shore.